Hey team, how are we? Welcome back to Rags to Riches. I'm Easy8 OCE, and today is the big day. Uh, as you can see over there, we have some very ready canola. Um, that actually came right towards the middle of yesterday. Um, unfortunately, yesterday it was raining really hard all day, so we basically had no chance to do anything around the farm. And as you can see, we are also looking at a bit of rain soon but hopefully not too soon what to do um today we've got to get that whole field harvested uh as well as pick up a proper grain trailer so we're running on a bit of a clock at the moment um you know if it rains it's not the end of the world um we can just continue to um yeah continue to harvest after the rain it's not looking good out there but i'm really really hoping it does hold off for a little while um but yeah, first job, we're going to go get us a grain trailer. I'm thinking we'll buy the grain trailer outright, um, put a little bit of money into that, and just, yeah, probably just rent a harvester for now, because it can be quite pricey. Um, and then, you know, after the harvest, we can maybe look at buying the harvester and header for ourselves, so we've got one for next time. So yeah, we've got a lot, a lot to cover in a relatively short amount of time. Really, really, really hoping it doesn't start raining while we're on the way to the dam, um, to the shop. Uh, the other thing I have been considering, I've spoken to a viewer, and was wondering if we could would be doing some streaming. Um, so I'm thinking I will do that. Um, probably tomorrow in the evening New Zealand time, around about 8 till 9. 8 or 9 o'clock, sorry, and we'll go for a, a couple of hours or however long it takes. Um, thinking that will be the ideal forum for us to get our uh, get our second field ploughed because, yeah, this field's probably not going to yield quite as much as what we want. Yeah, we'll have to make do with um, with this harvest next this time around. But um, I'm thinking we'll just make a second field. We won't extend the one that we've got now. Um, we'll keep two separate fields so we can grow two separate crops if we wish to. And yeah, that'll be... That'll probably take a couple of hours as it is to, um... To basically plough, prep, and hopefully plant the next field. And then, uh... Yeah. Then we'll get back into the series and probably the next episode of the series will... If we yeah, if we get to that point, we'll probably see re um, replant the original field. So we'll just call it field one and field two. So we'll replant field one in the next episode, and probably end up getting some logging done as well. Um, but yeah, I have spoken to a the same the same viewer actually. He he also thought that um. Yeah, he also thought that the logging within the episodes is good because you know slow pace is okay. It's a it's a real ramp up series. I mean, if it does sort of stall, then I will do some logging between episodes just to crank us up and get some money in the bank so we can actually get on with the get on with what we're up to. But yeah, so we'll we'll see how we go on that front anyway. I am just going to speak to the fellas inside the shop and see what trailers we've got on offer, and I will talk to you in just a minute. Okay, here we go. We have the Lizard old trailer. Four and a half thousand liters, so just a little bit more in total capacity compared to um, the other trailer, but it is all solid sides, so the grain's not going to come out of the sides, hopefully. Hopefully there's no holes. Um, so yeah, we'll grab this, we'll take it back to the farm, and then we'll sort out a harvester from there. Uh, see you in just a minute. Okay, here we are. Here's our brand new trailer. Just go hop on the tractor, we'll get it hitched up, and we will make our way back to the farm. Okay, and I mean, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out some way to store this trailer as well, because it is a dolly trailer. Uh, I have little to no experience reversing dolly trailers, and from what I've done so far, I'm really bad at it probably end up having to practice it, you know, behind the scenes, and maybe one day we'll be able to, you know, adequately reverse this trailer, but until then we'll just have to find some way to, yeah, drive it in, I suppose. Um, alright, so, 
I'll make my way back to the farm and I will see you in just a moment once I've take, dropped this off and run back to the dealership to pick up the harvester. Alright, here we are. Um, I've run myself all the way back to the shop from the farm, so that took, didn't take as long as I thought, but you know, long enough when you're on a bit of a clock. Um, we'll head inside and we will have a ch another chat to the lads. Okay, here we go. So this is the case IH141. Okay, so very old. Um, looks like it's been around the block a few times. I'd say it's just the the cheap option that they've got laying about the um yeah laying about the the dealership for you know people with not a lot of money to rent like myself um, as you can see it's only $280 um, at least for the first hour um, if we keep it for any extra hours we're going to incur another £115 um, per hour but I think we should be able to get this all harvested within the hour um, alright so we'll go ahead and rent this and then we'll sort out a header and I will see you back outside okay there she is um, we've got a, harv a header over there for um, actually harvesting the crop, so that cost us another, I think it was £76 all up. There we go, it winds up, progress into life. Uh, we'll just back up and grab the header, and we'll be on our way. Alright, how cool is this? And a harvester on our way to harvest our first crop. Great. So I'll run this back to the um yeah, back to our farm and we will get into it. Righty, back at the farm. Um so a bit of a slightly slower drive than what we used to. Um this harvester will only do twenty yeah, twenty two kilometers an hour at a maximum. So that yeah, sort of eats into the it's into the time for getting everything else done in the day. But yeah, it's okay. Um, they're not meant to be fast machines. There are working machines, not speed machines. Okay, we've got the tra tractor over there waiting with our grain trailer. So we'll just line ourselves up for the first run. Yeah, not quite. All right. So firstly, unfold the harvester. So that basically lifts the top um, of the grain bin, just to allow some airflow, so we can actually get the auger pumping, um, pumping grain in there as it comes through the through the thresher in the front there. Um, we will get our header running, lower it down, and hopefully, there we go, harvesting. All right. This is always a great job. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping at the very minimum that we'll get maybe two and a half grand out of this um, out of this harvest. That would be ideal, just so we can at least pay for the trailer. Uh, yeah, yeah. If we don't, if we don't at least pay for the trailer, then yeah, one field's definitely, definitely not enough. And obviously, we're going to get a second, a second field as it is. But yeah, I really would like to get bit more out of this than, than making a loss on the crop. Okay, round two. Oop. Okay, we'll lower that down. Ugh. So there's one thing I'm not a big fan of with the um, helper function is if it, yeah, if it finishes it turns off your thresher if you accidentally press the helper button. Okay, so I will, um, I'll get on with this. We'll get it all harvested up and then we'll take it all off to be sold. Hopefully it's just the one load, but you know, if we get more than one load, I would be more than happy for that as well.
jump off the harvester and we'll go and bring the trail around and we'll get that first uh, har yeah, first harvester load out of there. Um, so it's 1800 litres, so that will be, yeah, I think exactly two and a half loads out of this harvester would completely fill this trailer. Uh, yeah, I'm not... I'm not sure we'll get that much. We'll probably get maybe another another harvester full out of this um out of this field, maybe. There we go. Um pop that over there for now. Um and yeah, once we've once we've done that, we'll get off and we'll start selling. And drop that header back down. I'll uh, carry this on and we will get our load runoff to the cell point. load from an arable field so first harvest all done and dusted just time to sell so yeah that's pretty exciting stuff really I'm really really happy with um, with the yield uh, if the price is good we'll definitely be able to pay for this trailer um, and then next time we'll make obviously even more um, hopefully we can just buy the harvester outright um, if we chop down a few trees and sell them off in the meantime, I mean, you know, we've got plenty of them, so why wouldn't we use them to set up our machinery? But yeah, all things going to plan. I'm hoping to get maybe uh, about 3,000 pounds out of this. Um, so that would put us, uh, yeah, a little bit over where we started for the day. Um, obviously having to buy a trailer didn't, didn't really help our cause, but hey, it's a slow start. Um, we will get we will get there eventually. And if we really really have to, we could look at selling this um, selling this tractor and getting something a bit cheaper. I mean, it is it is incredibly well restored, if a little bit dirty now with all the use that it's been getting for the last few days. Um, but you know, the shop can give it a wash once they get it. <laughs> Unfortunately, the commercial style um, water blaster that they have there are just a little bit out of um, <laughs> out of our price range at the moment, so our gear will just have to remain dirty. Um, also, there is just the one sell point at the moment, so we don't really have a choice in where we sell our grain at the moment. Um, maybe as as this part of the world expands and grows a little bit, there might be a new sell point um, open up at some point, but. Yeah, for now, for now, this is what we've got, got to work with. The guys at the store are really friendly, so you know, it's not all bad. But yeah, here we are with our two and a half thousand liters of canola. 
get onto that cell point and flog it off. Moment of truth, team. Okay, so a bit more than I was hoping for, uh, which is good. Three and a half thousand, three thousand five hundred and seventeen pounds to be exact. I'm uh, I'm actually really happy with that. That's awesome. So that's yeah, definitely a bit more money in the pocket. Um, we'll just have to run the trailer back to the farm and figure out somewhere to park her. Uh, looking at it. It looks like it's, yeah, tree, uh, I'm actually not sure, painted or treated, um, either way, um, either painted or treated, the wood can stay outside, uh, the, yeah, the wood can stay outside, so we'll probably just park this maybe alongside the tractor barn, so at least it will get some shelter from the rain if the wind is our friend. And yeah, looking at the time, might be able to get a quick round of logging in as well before we um yeah before we finish up the day. That or actually, you know what? Let's get the um let's get the field fertilized. Rather, I think that's going to be a slightly better use of our time. Um, get that fertilizer in before the rain comes. Uh, and then next time we can have a think about getting a um, getting a cultivator. So we'll let that fertilizer sit in the soil for a little while. Um, the rain will probably sort of soak it in there so it spreads into the soil. Um, and then all we really need to do after that is cultivate, fertilize. Um, yeah, and then we can start planting again. I'm thinking maybe we'll do canola again. But we could also do another high yield, um, yeah, like another high yield crop, such as maybe soybeans. Like you generally get a high price for soybeans. Um, yeah. Otherwise, we might have, we might think about doing something like um, I don't know, oats or, or wheat maybe. Uh, the only downside, of, well, downside upside depends how you look at that. Look at it is that it will have straw. So I mean, our hands on a cheap um, forage wagon, which is something you use to pick up the straw into a wagon and then sell it uh, at the end. Then you know it's not a problem. But yeah, if you're not if you're not making enough to actually pay for the rent of a forage wagon, then it's really not worth not worth doing it anyway. Uh, the crops going to be fantastic once we get something like a um, well, once we get some animals like some cows or some sheep or something. Because uh, that's, yeah, they need that for their bedding, so you know, we'll see. Okay, we'll just park this up alongside the shed here. Okay, we'll drop the trailer, how's that look? Happy, happy. Okay, and we will pick up the fertilizer spreader. Now, I'll see if we can just back in there and grab it out without having to move the, um, the sprayer. Yeah, we're good. Alright. Auto butts roll out, am I right? Run this around the edge of the bushes here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think we've got enough, um, enough fertilizer in there for now. Uh, the harvester's off, so basically it runs on operating hours. So as long as the harvester's not on and doing anything, then we're not being charged the hourly rate for it. So as long as I get that back to the um, yeah, back to the store by the end of the day, they'll be happy as, so I'll do that um, probably once we're finished here. Put it over here out of the way for the moment and we will get some fertilizing done all right all right so I'll get this done real quick and I will see you in just a moment
pretty much there. Um, yeah, just gotta fix up one bit that I missed because I couldn't make up my mind on how I wanted to do it. Um, that, yeah, that happens sometimes. Um, but yeah, still, still blown away with how efficient this um, the spreader is with the uh, yeah, with the old fertilizer. Uh, is there any missed spots around here? Maybe just that little corner. Just give that a quick squirt. Cool. And I'll just check down this edge of the field, maybe. Uh, we'll put some more fertilizer on just in case. Uh, for anyone that's wondering about the lime, um, with lime spreading you only need to do that once every uh, three harvests. So at the moment we're okay. Uh, yes, but after yeah the crop after the next one, we will need to uh, yeah think about putting some um, putting some more lime into the spreader. Hopefully by then. Don't have to spray it. I think we're good. Yeah, that'll do. Um, yeah, hopefully by then we'll have another tractor with a what do you call it? Yeah, another tractor with a front loader, um, so we can actually just take our trailer along with the front loader to get the bag aligned. We don't have to hassle anyone shop to help us get into the trailer, we can be a bit more self-sufficient about it. Um, there we go. And we will be all good. Uh, we'll even be able to take the bag down to the side of the field so we don't need to go between the field and the sh um, and the shed every time we need to refill the spreader because I mean we had to do that what three, four times last time we were um, we were here. So yeah, that's all set. We have a old brand new to us trailer now. Um, we have a freshly harvested field yielded about three and a half thousand which you know for a first crop I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, probably make another field out that way um, during the live stream so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, harvester back to the shop. Thank the boys very much for uh, loaning that to me and I will see you all next time. Uh, don't forget, stream tomorrow, uh, I think, we'll say 9pm tomorrow, uh, New Zealand time, so unfortunately, I, yeah, I'm not too sure on everyone's time zones, but hopefully, hopefully late-ish evening for us works out for the rest of the world, um, for anyone that's viewing overseas, uh, so yeah, have a fantastic day, thanks very much for watching, I'm Easy8OCE, and have a fantastic day, see you later.